It's week seven and Beijing was the next and final stop on my China expedition. It's one of the most populous and polluted cities in the world. I just arrived in Beijing. I booked a room through Airbnb and it seems like I'm staying in a council estate, as you can see behind me. Um, I got my face mask ready because Beijing air smells like bonfire night. And if you're not British, shit, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> the room I booked was pretty cool. Never judge a book by its cover. I was welcomed in and told eat and drink what you want. Not bad for 14 pound a night. The location was great too. It was pretty central. Because the pollution is so bad, I had to buy another mask with a filter. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like such an idiot with this thing on. But the air is so bad outside. I was starving and I found Mr. Shy's dumplings on TripAdvisor. It had so many different fillings and all freshly made to order. Steamed or fried. I loved the flag wall that they had, but there was no Welsh flag. So I changed that shit. Next day, I took a train to one of the most iconic places on earth. It's so funny, everyone literally legs it to get a seat on the train. The train costs about 60p and you can buy a ticket for the attraction on the train too. Far away from the pollution, the train takes two hours from Beijing. I finally made it to the Great Wall of China. So I've just got onto the Great Wall, climbing up the steps. So surreal. It's no surprise that the Great Wall is one of the wonders of the world and was built over 2,000 years ago. It is really tiring, honestly. It's over 5,500 miles long and some parts are so steep it feels like you're going to fall backwards. While I was soaking in the tranquility, this happened to me. Yeah. Who are? Pegaza. Photo? Okay. I cannot even tell you how many photos I had with people. And it was quite fun. The only thing I didn't like was when people just snapped in front of my face without asking. Weird. Okay, so uh, it's always been a dream of mine to come here to the Great Wall. And um, this is a massive dedication to my grandfather. So this is for you, Gramps. I love you, miss you, and I hope you're really proud of me. This is my favourite spot, it was so quiet. But then, it all went downhill from there. Literally. Back at the train station, I realised the word Q means nothing in China. In fact, it probably means push. I also realised how annoying it was getting when people would stare and talk about me rudely in my face. This did not happen in Guangzhou, and it was really getting on my nerves. I was desperate to try Peking duck, as the dish is from Beijing, which is also known as Peking. I went to Dodong, a well-known, quite posh restaurant, and the duck was magnificent. They even showed you how to wrap it with chopsticks, but of course, I just stuffed my face. But I did order too much food, and they just kept bringing me free desserts. But obviously, I didn't refuse, and I had so much food left over, I took it home. The traffic here is horrific, and it's really scary. I hated crossing the roads, it seemed like cars had right of way. The next day I saw the real effect of the pollution, it can block out the sun, which is just shocking. I went to the Emperor's Temple and the Palace Museum, otherwise known as the Forbidden Palace, and I love the intricate artistry, beautiful colours. The palace is one of the biggest in the world, and check this man-made hill, how cool is that? I wanted to get to the station, which is a mile from the palace, so I jumped on a rickshaw for 3 yen, that's 30p, or so I thought. I was driven down an alleyway, and when I got there, he tried to say it was 300 yen, and I told him no, and he started to get aggressive, 
he tried to rob me and I pretended that um, I could get him more money at the ATM. I gave him 15 yen, um, which is like pound fifty, and then I said I'll try and get you more money from the ATM, then I pretended it wasn't working um, and then I jumped in the cab. So, first time in my life I nearly got robbed. But quick thinking and acting get you everywhere. But it did shake me up though, fucking hell. What a fucking prick. I just wanted to leave Beijing after that and everything annoyed me, especially the fact that people make this noise and spit everywhere. It's so vile. I didn't want to go anywhere else, but I made an effort to go to the infamous Yas Chow Market. You can get fakes and really good bargains there. Always barter for 10% of the price they ask. And if you're white and blonde, I really feel for you because they will harass you. I don't drink much, but I needed a drink after my near robbery and my Airbnb hosts invited me out. They were so nice and if it weren't for them, I would swear every person in Beijing was horrible. Thank you so much, my and Pierre. The only place I wanted to see was the airport. It was so unfortunate, but I did think Beijing was the worst city I've ever been to. But I'd go there again in a heartbeat just to see the Great Wall. I'm at the airport. This marks the end of my eight days in China. Um, it's been an emotional week. And thank you so much for watching my video and see you next week.